We've used uh, the veterinary modified diets, the more prescription type diets, in a lot of patients. And the, the balanced remedy was sort of the first one. It's extremely low in fat and extremely high in digestibility. It's perfect for our pancreatitis patients. Um, they seem to really like it, and it almost never comes back up on them. I will say that once they're ready to eat, that diet stays down and they start their recovery. They can be maintained on it as well, um, and I have some clients that just feed that, and I have others that will mix it in with another commercially available low-fat diet. Um, the renal diets are almost universally a hit. They, um, I, I've got a lot of patients on those. One of the benefits of the renal diets for an internist uh, is the combination of the use of a sort of novel ingredient. They're lamb-based, and so if you have a patient, say, who has chicken sensitivity or beef sensitivity, they can't use the commercially available prescription renal diets they can use the Just Food for Dogs one because it's lamb-based. And I've had a number of patients that have had either confirmed or suspected food sensitivities that this is just the ideal diet for if they have renal disease. So I'll recommend this first and foremost to them. So um, I'm trying to think the other, other diets that are the prescription, um, the, the derm support, we've had a little bit less, um, as an internist, I have a little bit less experience with that one but I'll utilize the fish and potato diet for a lot of my uh, inflammatory bowel disease or lymphangiectasia patients that respond really well to it because it's not high in fat, it's highly digestible, and it's a novel ingredient. So I actually use the fish and potato as sort of a prescription diet as well.